Hey lovely people, this is Sean and we are at our home and we're doing something in preparation to do at the lovely place and that is we're creating these seed carts. In a previous video you might see that I found a lot of good stuff at the, the metal scrap yard. Two of the things I found were two of these baker racks basically. Well, I guess they're called baker racks. You, they're made for putting sheets on there like cookie sheets or cafeteria trays, that sort of thing. But we're using them to put seedling trays. We're putting our little water tray underneath, our seedling tray on top. Now the other two that we got, it has the closed area on the narrow side and the open area on this wider side so we're going to be able to put two trays side by side on those however on this one unfortunately we're going to have to just do one tray in the middle and so these shelves <coughs> i found them at the scrap yard as well i just got a few cents into each one of them and they're making really great shelves that we can set those on so i'm taking my milwaukee grinder and i am cutting this down to size so let's grind a few of these all right i've cut to here Let's keep going or grinding away. Okay, got another shell. So we're skipping every two racks and going in the third one down. Ah. Check it out. Nice. And we're going to put grow lights underneath here. We've landed a ton, I mean a few hundred, of these 1020 seed trays, 10 by 20. And uh, there are different styles, different types. We definitely wanted to find the kind that has a good hole in the bottom so that you can press through with something and you can push that out after it's started to get to a nice little plant. We also have these watering trays. These we put underneath the actual seed tray and we put water in there and we set the seed tray down on top of it and then the water wicks up into the dirt through those holes and uh, it keeps it nice and continuously watered. So we just gotta make sure that these are, they stay filled. And then from here, we up pot it after it gets so big and go into a larger pot. And here you can see that we've inserted these heating pads, these heat pads. This brand is Vivison, V-I-V-O-S-U-N. These are 10 by 25 and three quarters. No, 10 by 20 and three quarters. And you plug them in. They keep that water tray warm so that that water remains warm. And as it wicks up into the dirt, it's going to keep that plant nice and warm. And then, as you can see, we have these uh, grow lights mounted on top above each one of these plants. The brand name on these little grow lights, it are they're called Barina. There they are, Barina, L-E-D grow lights. They come in different color. This light is a pink 
they come in a white and like a blue. Yeah, bluish white and yellow. Bluish white and yellow. So you can pick. And certain plants like certain types of light. A little side note, we're also going to be planting these seed potatoes. We bought different uh, varieties. This is a Yukon Gold. This is a Red Norland. And we have here uh, Kennebec, I think. And there's some, this one's open. Let me just show you what these look like. And Oh yeah, these are absolutely a little over ready to get in the ground, but we got to get these planted right away and they will create some great potatoes for us. So Mrs. Lovely ended up using these racks to start seeds and make plants, and she's already pulled a bunch of them and taken them outside so that they can get acclimated to the, the wind and they can strengthen up. This was full until she just moved them all outside. And here's more. We have all kinds of tomatoes here. More and more tomatoes. She has up-potted these because they have been growing good. Check it out. There's a Roma. There's a Rio Grande tomato heirloom. All sorts of different kinds. Wow, I think we're gonna have some tomatoes, y'all. Mmm, they smell good. Big rainbow heirloom. What do we have here? Better boys. Oh, now we're getting into something different. What she got? That's a Big Daddy Sweet Pepper hybrid. Those are all Big Daddy Sweet Peppers. Sweet Carmen Red Pepper. Pepper Sweet Mara, was it Mara Marconi? Sweet Pepper Cherry Spicy. Purple Sweet Pepper. We're gonna be eating good. And here's more. We have sweet basil. We have large leaf Italian basil. All kinds of different basils. Crystal white wax onions. We have, what is this one? Spinach. I think we've got some broccoli in here somewhere. I'm not sure what these are. Collard greens, a lot of different greens. Maybe mustard greens, collard greens. Lots of different lettuces, romaines, and others. Iceberg. Butter crunch. Some of this didn't take. We have more basil, basil mammoth, and more sweet basil. Dark purple basil. We're gonna have some basil. Broccoli. Lots of broccoli. Here we have, this is your mustard India Florida Broadleaf. So some good greens here. Kale, there's some good kale. Uh, uh, uh. Looks like more lettuce. No, this is mustard greens as well. Here we have cabbage, lots of cabbage. Oh, I hope the cabbage takes this year. Brussels sprouts, look at that. She has started all of this from seed. Bok choy, beautiful. More cabbage. So Mrs. Lovely already has the cabbage planted and she bought this netting because last year our cabbage had a bad problem. They got some cabbage worms and it literally ate them up and even with this netting, of course, things can get under there, but we've already, we already see some signs, some holes in some of these leaves, and we don't want that to happen again this year because that was horrible. It just destroyed the whole, the whole cabbage potential, and we really love it. We want some sauerkraut. We want some hot slaw and coleslaw. If y'all don't know what hot slaw is, you're missing out. Hey, Mrs. Lovely wanted me to point out to you that when she digs a little hole to put these plants in, she mixes this first. This is worm castings, organic fertilizer. This is Epsom salt, and this is just an all-purpose fertilizer. It's a 10, 10, 10. Uh, this one's upside down. Let me turn it over and I'll show you what this is. Uh, regardless though, she mixes one cup of this, a cup of this, and a cup of that all together, and then she digs her hole, puts that stuff in the bottom of the hole, then puts the plant in and then buries it and it's ready to grow. So yeah, pure worm castings, it's a one zero zero. 
1% nitrogen, 1% calcium, iron is a 0.2, and that's pretty much it. All of this is about to go in the ground now. This has been a few weeks since the uh, previous scene where I showed all of these, and they are really popping up. We've got them in a lot of different places. These would have already been in the ground, but Mrs. Lovely got bit by a spider, and we think it may have been a brown recluse. And uh, so she's been on some medication to get the uh, healing accomplished, but we needed to keep her off of her legs and she is the green thumb behind this we just did not want her to have a green toe as well from the spider bite so a green thumb's good a green green toe's bad going in the ground today thanks for joining us here at the lovely place on this little short video we will show you more when this stuff gets planted in the ground and show you what it's doing and how it produces lots of good vegetables and some fruit as well some juicy red ripe tomatoes we can't wait for some homegrown tomatoes so if you haven't done so subscribe hit the notification bell give us a thumbs up and uh, we'll see you back here at the lovely place very soon take care